You, you only need to worry about you and figure out what it is about you that's going to be 100% employment and 0% unemployment. And that's what you need to go for. Um, I want you to start planning for that strategy right now. You don't start planning for your career the day after you graduate. You start planning for it like six months before at least because, you know, if you're starting the day after you graduate, You've got 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, and the three people next to you who have already started, and you're behind on the game. Um, you need to know what's going to set you apart. I'm going to give you quickly here the inside scoop from some employers. We've been asking employers, what makes someone stand apart? OK, what employers want? This is, um, this is from the National Association of Colleges and Employers, and they survey these. A good GPA is given. Six years of graduating classes to choose from, they want a good GPA. Some are screening for 3.0 or higher. 78% of employers told uh, NACE they screen by GPA first. So they, you know, and then, then they eliminate people based on GPA. Internships, it's plural for a reason. One is not going to cut it. It's a no-brainer. You have to have multiple internships. 95% uh, of employers say work experience is a factor in hiring, and they go for the person with the most diverse uh, and, 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 uh, and weighty, I would say, work experience. Um, employers have a most wanted list of things that they put on, that they want to, these soft skills. Uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to put on a resume what your soft skills are, but these, these are the things that they want. Leadership abilities, problem solving, excellent, clear communication and initiative. So that's what they told me, and I said, what does that mean? called them back. I said, what does that mean? I mean, everybody thinks they're a leader. Everybody thinks they can solve us. I'm, we all think we're clear communicators. I think I've got initiative, but how do you show that? Um, they say, this is what Marilyn Mackis, who ran this research for us, said. She said, playing on a team, doing volunteer work, leading a professional student organization, all of these things on a resume show you've got soft skills that you might not learn in the classroom. And there are 10 things in order of importance that she wants. Um, You've got to work in a team structure, solve problems, prioritize work, process information, analyze quantitative data, technical knowledge, computer knowledge, uh, edit and create written reports, uh, ability to sell and influence others. There's a whole bunch of things that you're going to find in internships that you're going to have to figure out a way to show if you get an, if you get an interview with somebody. Um, the resume and cover letter, that's really important. One page, Terry knows all, I mean, Terry, I'm sure has been drilling you with all this. Know your audience, do not just carpet bomb. You've gotta, you've gotta, you've gotta know your audience, know exactly who you're going for, um, and keep it very brief. Use powerful active uh, verbs. Don't say I'm a team player. Do not say on a resume, do never say I'm a team player. You are a team player. Show you're a team player by the things that you've done. And don't use verbs like, don't say like facilitate and transition and stuff like that. Those are like big made up words, fancy words that, that, show, that <laughs> show that you're 21 or 22. Don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. 